Hi there, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your monthly astrological forecast for April 2022. And just a quick heads up for all y'all out there. If you are uh, ever wanting to get a session with me, remember you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com or you can simply follow the links in the down bar below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and engagement helps this channel out a lot. Now this month has a lot of aspects going on and I don't want this to turn into a 45 minute astrologer ramble with no information retention whatsoever. And so I've decided to take a few of these aspects and create separate videos all their own uh, to name a few Jupiter conjunct Neptune in Pisces as well as Pluto turning retrograde in Capricorn. So stay tuned those will be coming soon. And of course if you are subscribed you'll know when they show up. And so with all of that said, what is going on when it comes to your April? The first half of the month, we start with a new moon in Aries in your sixth house of work, your reputation, your schedule, the teams you work on and the services that you provide and your lifestyle. With a new moon in the sixth house, there is a new claim to fame that you are having birthed. This is an opportunity for you to change how you are seen in the world by getting a chance to work with a completely different class of people as it relates to your business or your life at the office or your market. This is a chance for a lot of you to also climb into a better profile when it comes to maybe your market or your income because the new moon in Aries is giving us a chance to take a bit of a promotion. It may not be a formal promotion, kind of like what it would be in the 10th house, but it does look like it is bringing more money. So it could be a raise, sort of maybe a, a move at an incline. This could be a transition that's happening internally or externally. The sixth house kind of covers both angles. And you are also getting a chance to work more closely with stronger teams and much more compatible clientele as we go through through the rest of April. And this is something that can stick. This is going to most likely start to take place or get the ball rolling between the 1st and the 15th of April, but it doesn't have to end then. Absolutely not. This is an opportunity for a big shift or a big page turn for you Scorpio people professionally and financially. The sun is here as well, bringing you more value to this area of your life. The sun bringing attention, enhancement, and support. And so you're going to be noticing that a lot of your resources, a lot of your tools, and the people that you work with are getting moved all over in all kinds of different ways. You are getting rewarded for doing things a bit differently. What sets you apart is what's also going to make things a lot more valuable for you here. But what I like about the sun in Aries is that people are starting to respect and encourage you to do something different. You're going to find that a lot of your clients and a lot of your teammates are also lifting you up during this period. So don't get super shy and don't artificially humble yourself, Scorpio. You are getting into a space where you're becoming a bigger player when it comes to your work life and when it comes to your market. This is also a time with the sun in Aries where things that maybe have been overlooked, things you've you know been passed over for or have been had obscured about your talents and your achievements when it comes to your work in your field are also getting the recognition now that maybe, yeah, they could have been recognized for in the past. Let's be honest, should have happened earlier. We also have Mercury here, the planet of communications, haste and productivity. And this is not only speeding up the rate with which you acquire wealth as it always does in a financial sector, but it's also going hard at work when it comes to lifestyle and even physical health. This is a great time for a lot of you Scorpio people that are looking to maybe uh, change the way you handle your lifestyle, or maybe you are trying to get into a healthier lifestyle, make some progress with a certain health or fitness goal. And with Mercury in the sixth, we often do see things speed up in terms of the payoffs and the results much faster than maybe what we normally would see if we were going without Mercury in the sixth house. Remember, I'm not a doctor and that you should always run or even flag <laughs> astrologers who pretend that they are doctors. But this is an aspect that is extremely helpful here, especially when it comes to also finding new methods or new techniques in order to speed off, speed up, excuse me, the attainment of the results you seek health and fitness wise. We also have Mars in your fourth house of home and family the first half of the month. So Mars bringing that action, passion, energy, the obstacle clearing, driving force, 
to the domicile. Now, this can also talk about family history as well as home-based business operations and home economics. With Mars in the fourth house, this is speeding up our growth as well, but not the same way that Mercury does. There is a big house clearing, housekeeping kind of focus happening here. Mars is helping us to eliminate a lot of blocks and a lot of maybe hindrances that have prevented us from having either the living situation or the household economic situation we desire, as well as clear a lot of old business or maybe eliminate a lot of challenges that we have been dealing with when it comes to family matters, whether it's your own household or things that happen with your own natal family or your chosen family or even going back to your roots. With Mars here, this is all about renovations, this is all about positive transformations, but sometimes we may encounter some struggles every once in a while because Mars can also raise the energy level of certain emotional responses, right? Not everyone is going to be welcome to a lot of improvements that could be going on. You know, some people can get very stuck in their ways, they can get very insecure, take things too personally, think that the cure is worse than the disease, or just always assume the worst of everything. You know what? Carry on, Scorpio, because this Mars going forward here is giving you the power to make some transformations and some systemic changes that you have been desiring to make to your family life, to your home life, and your home economic situation that you know are going to serve not just you, but everyone all the better. And a lot of this could be overdue. Some of this could be over two years old. We also have Venus entering Pisces, that fifth house of love, romance, creativity, recreation, and your relationships with your kids. And with Venus in the fifth house, there is a lot more demonstrative affection going on, especially when it comes to a lot of you who are either in existing romantic partnerships or maybe going to start a romantic relationship between the 5th of April and maybe going into May, because this is also drawing in a lot of new love energy for those of you that are available to new relationships. This is a time where a lot of you Scorpio people are going to experience almost like a honeymoon kind of experience. I said experience a lot, and I'm sorry for that. But this is going to feel a lot like a honeymoon. There's a lot of sweet nothings. We have got so much more overt demonstrations of not only interest and love, but people are really going out of their way to make sure that their message is felt and received the right way when it comes to pitching woo, when it comes to romantic adventures, bringing in a bit of that holiday feel as well with that honeymoon type of feeling. This is also a time for renewed intimacy and closeness, and this is also a time where a lot of you Scorpio people are going to find that that Venus energy is bringing you a lot more close to your relationships with your kids. This is a time where we are delving into a new way of relating to each other. There is a lot more trust, there's a lot more affection, and there's a lot more open, honest communication back and forth. The second half of the month, we have Mercury entering Taurus your seventh house of closest one-on-one -on -one connections. This is your boyfriend, girlfriend, BFF, business partner, husband, wife, and roommate, and all the closest one-on-one -on -one alliances and involvements you have. Mercury in this area is bringing that focus of communications, haste, and productivity here. And you're going to notice that all joint operations that you have with romantic partners, spouses, as well as business alliances and business partnerships, it's speeding up. In fact, we're speeding up the rate of completion when it comes to a lot of joint goals. And it may be that a lot of you are getting a chance to move up a lot of aspirations and goals that you have maybe conservatively, playing it safe, put off for months or even years down the road. But, well, the winds are working in your favor now. And so it may actually be that we don't have to play it so safe or be so careful. Mercury here is also going to be speeding up the maturation of a lot of partnerships, the, you know, getting into a place where things are much more crystallized, making things more official, whether we're making a romantic relationship official, jumping up in status in terms of a romantic relationship, maybe making a business alliance more official, signing contracts, right, getting a lot of that out of the way. All of this is creating a lot more strong foundations to build even a bigger empire on for yourselves or a bigger kingdom for yourselves as we go through the rest of 2022. 
Mars is entering Pisces the second half of the month, that fifth house of love and romance, your relationships with your kids, creativity, recreation. And Mars here, the planet of action, passion, energy, and obstacle clearing, is also helping to purge a lot of blocks that a lot of you Scorpio people may have encountered when it comes to getting a romantic relationship or a relationship that you wish to have with um, maybe a creative path, a creative venture underway or on a different road. You know, if you have been in a situation where there have been blocks to you getting into the relationship you would like to have, or there have been blocks to you finding uh, a compatible relationship partner, finding the right venue for a creative project, finding the right audience, finding the right uh, collaborators or the right network, Mars is really knocking down a lot of walls. It's a blockbuster focus. However, Mars is also going to be focusing on knocking down walls when it comes to communications, trust, and intimacy, which also means Mars is turning a lot of its focus on purging any kinds of any kind of insecurities or maybe unhealthy habits that may have existed with regards to maybe a creative path or passion, creative associations, social associations, or maybe yes, even you know, romantic behaviors or relationship behaviors that new, do need to be cleared, whether this is happening between us and somebody we are with, or maybe it's an opportunity to see what needs to be cleared as we engage in something new. This can sometimes create some conflicts, you know, again, as I say with Mars, when hearts need to get closer and there's a wall in between, some collisions may be necessary, but it is going to be a very rewarding experience for those that are brave enough and resilient enough to deal with it and want to deal with it. We also have a full moon in Libra in your 12th house of your past, privacy in your hidden zone in the second half of the month, setting up a window period for a big culmination and a big transition. Now this is happening on the 16th, so this window period is running from the 16th through the 29th of the month. When we have a full moon in the 12th house, this can be one of the tougher full moons. You know, it's I call it the breakdown breakthrough moon because it's about wrapping up and purging a lot of our own history and eliminating a lot of things that have had a lot of influence over us, whether it's our decision making or maybe things that have conditioned us in certain ways. And some of the stuff that comes up to be cleared could be things that need to be resolved and released without any kind of formal closure, punctuation, or finality, which, you know, that's life. Sometimes we have to get over things without having some big pageant about closure. And some of you may find that between the 16th of the month and the 29th of the month, that's how it's going to feel. However, it's also a very freeing moon as well, because there may be some dark clouds or dark shadows that have hovered over you or your family or even the legacy of people that came before you that no longer get to have a space in your life. Finally, we've got some uh, very special news going on with the sun going into Taurus, that seventh house of partnerships, as well as a solar eclipse also getting underway in Taurus at the end of April. So remember, this is that seventh house of close involvement. So this does involve other people as well, the partnership zone. With the sun in Taurus from week three of April through week three of May, the attention enhancement and support is really going strong on helping us to bring more love, sweetness, fun, adventure, and levity into all of our closest one-on-one -on -one connections. Everyone is getting all the more personal, and there is an opportunity to bring new glue to bond us together. This is a time where even best friendships become closer, business partnerships become closer, and we are attracting people to us that are going to be ideal matches for that kind of relationship arrangement. Business partnerships are going to be thriving during this time because we're also going to be noticing that business partners are, a, are also going through a bit of a level up in terms of what they can bring to the table. And of course, romantic relationships, romantic uh, partnerships and marriages are also going to be having a chance to make a big left turn when it comes to getting a chance to attain a goal or a fantasy or achieve some kind of dream that maybe we have lost touch with 
as a couple or something we have lost track with. That's going to be something that comes back around to be enjoyed. And even if this is a new relationship, it may be something that you and your new sweetheart or new partner, or recent sweet, sweetheart or partner, wished you could have had but couldn't have before you got together or couldn't attain with previous partners. This solar eclipse new moon is creating a new story as well, right? A solar eclipse is just a new moon cubed. Well, we've got a new beginning and a new cycle beginning between the 30th of the month and the 30th of July. With this, this is a huge status jump for all relationships. A lot of you Scorpio people may be making a big milestone move when it comes to love and romance. We may be, yes, making things official. Some of you may be even talking about getting engaged, moving in together, getting married. Business partnerships are becoming much more substantial. We may be taking on another business partner. We may be creating a triad or a quad. Things are growing in such a substantial way over the course of this next three months that there is this new sense of of permanence that is also going to be creating a new sense of comfort. I'm getting creature comforts coming in as well. You know, this is a big break for partners as well. You may be finding out about not only some big breakthrough that they have happening, but we are getting a chance to plant our flag as a union, alliance, or a marriage, or a couple in a completely new space together. This is something that I feel is going to set up not only a completely new timeline for a lot of you Scorpio people, but this may even put you back in touch with a type of relationship or maybe a marital style, a family style, or a business aspiration like we saw with the sun that you have always dreamed of. This is a dream come true, even if it may be something that's only getting its start in this three months, it's going to get a really strong one. So that's what I've got for you, Scorpio people. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.